It's your boy Porter Flacco. Anywhere you go, anybody you know, somebody gotta know me. And we're back again with another one, folks. Now check it out. Folks, I'm chilling right now, man. Got my belly out, right? Just took a sip of that double shot espresso with my back to blue pin on, bro. Listen, today I love the police so much, folks. I took off my shirt, I took the pin on the needle, and I put it inside my chest, man. That's how much I love the police, man. We'll forever be grateful, cause folks. They got the streets smelling a little bit better today, man, right? They got one dusty, musty nigga off the streets called Justin Johnson, a.k.a. Straight Drop, and they ain't stopped there, folks. Oh, no, 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 because we just learned they got a second dusty nigga off the streets, right? They got the brass pro shop menace, Cornelius Smith. First off, man, I got to address the obvious, yo. These two niggas, or parents, try to speak success into their existence. They try to speak a lifetime of non-dustiness into their existence by giving them names that set them up for success, all right? It ain't neither no Pookie and Ray Ray, not no Raekwon or Ray Schwan, all right? Or Deontay, no, 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 no. They gave them names that were respectable and professional, Cornelius Smith. For a name like that, he could have probably been an astrophysicist, man, but instead... He wanted to tote them rockets in the street. There are some false reports out there, though, that Cornelius Smith was arrested at the same time that Straight Drop, a.k.a. Justin Johnson was, and that's not true, because you guys know, man. Bloggers be lying, bro. These lying-ass bloggers don't know nothing. They come on their YouTube channel, and they just tell nothing but lies, right? That's not true. Cornelius Smith was actually arrested like a week or two prior to this, right? So Cornelius Smith was already in custody. Now, listen, man, now that we got an actual name and face to him, I'm not going to call him a rat. I'm not going to call him a snitch because I don't know what he's doing. But soon after they called Cornelius Smith, the name of Straight Drop, a.k.a. Justin Johnson, was released. All right. I can probably come to those conclusions on your own. Don't know much about the second suspect, Cornelius Smith, but he does look exponentially older than Straight Drop, a.k.a. Justin Johnson, or the other way around. Like, he looks way older than Straight Drop because Straight Drop is 23 years old. This dude, Cornelius Smith, look at least like 35, right, if not 40. So the fact that this old, cracked-out, smoked-out Negro was hanging with a 23-year-old is already puzzling. But then he goes ahead and do a drill with a 23-year-old. Now, I want to know, right, did Straight Drop just take the local crackhead from off the streets and pay him to commit this body? Or was this the old head who manipulated Straight Drop? Which one is it? Like, I want to find out. I'll definitely do some more research, man, because if I find out that this Cornelius Smith dude is like brothers or in relations to one of the other guys who we suspect and pay for this drill to happen. Listen, man, <laughs> it's going to get real dark. Listen, trust me, brother, coverage on this story moving forward, it's going to get real dark, man, because the police is doing a press conference tomorrow, and they're going to be telling us exactly what took place, how the capture happened, what they believe took place, and everything, bro. Trust me, it's going to get spooky, right? And the police might give us the motive tomorrow as well. Who knows? But I will say this, man, like this Cornelius Smith guy, he looks like he's down bad, bro. He looks like he's down bad like a mug, bro. I don't know where Straight Drop found this Negro. I don't know what crevices, right, of the projects he found this Cornelius Smith guy, bro. But this man, Mugshot, bro, he's wearing like a double white tee. You know, <laughs> that's how you know his ass stink, man. He's wearing like a double white tee. Like he's wearing like a white tee under white tee. But the white tee is like cream and beige, bro, just straight up dirty, bro. Like, bro, not a jewelry in sight, no earrings, bro, just like a, what, this is like a XXXL white tee in 2021, bro. Fuck is wrong with this guy, man? Really be the crusty, ashy, dusty ones that take out the legends, bro. Can you imagine a dude who's as clean, rich, and suave as Young Dolph was taken out by a guy who looked like he got mesothelioma dripping off his skin? This is just an embarrassment, bro. Life is not fair, man. It's your boy, Portic Flacco, though. Anywhere you go, anybody you know, somebody got to know me. So please click that like, sub, and comment, as well as the notification bell, man, so you get notified when I drop 24-7. It's your boy, Portic Flacco. I'm out of here, folks. Peace. Got a hand out. My brother said, be a stand-up nigga and stand ten toes down. If one way don't work, fucker, we still got to find a way out.